freeze is on. The freeze is on, but first the snow, then the freeze, then more snow. Okay. How's okay. that sound? Let's get to it. We'll Show you what's going on. Whenever you see pink on the map, you guys, this time of year, good news for New Mexico. That's a winter storm warning in place for our northern mountains. Now, some of the lower slopes of the Sangre de Cristo Mountains have a winter weather advisory either way. And even up into southwestern Colorado with the winter storm warnings, we're looking at a good round of snow coming in right now. We're going to get a break tomorrow and then another round coming in for Sunday, which is going to be a bigger deal. So here's a look at what's going on right now. We have snow showers starting to form over the north here. We're getting some pretty good storms around the Farmington area. Got reports earlier of up to pea sized hail in portions of Farmington, some mixes around the Durango area. We're still seeing heavy snow around the San Juans as well. A couple of showers around Socorro County. So throughout the night, a stray shower in the metro area remain possible as well. 54 degrees south southwest winds at 14 miles an hour across the north temperatures 30s and 40s for the most part out across these central sections in the 50s and down to the south 40s and 50s. So overall definitely a warmer day across the state and some improvement here and this next little system as it kicks through. It's going to boot it out the real cold air for now. But after this system that comes through tonight, we've got another one on its heels. So here's your storm report. Both storms are approaching New Mexico. We're going to treat them together, not as separate storms. So the timing is right now through Sunday. What to expect here? Heavy mountain snow across the north looks like a very good bet. Snow and cold across the northeast and cold temperatures and maybe a brief mix into the metro area coming up for Sunday. Bus potential on this. Chances it doesn't work out. 45%. We do like these storms. Not we don't like them a ton because there's still some challenges here, but we like them enough that I do think we're going to get some action here and it's going to be very interesting. So as the storm comes across tonight, we'll get increasing snow showers across the north and accumulating snow for the northern mountains. Then by tomorrow afternoon, We'll get a little break and here in the metro if we're going to see a shower, I think it'll be during the overnight hours and again, it could mix briefly with a little bit of snow, but shouldn't be a huge deal. Then the bigger system drops down. The reason this one's more important is because it's a lot colder here and it's more powerful as well. It's going to do a better job of drawing that air up in the atmosphere and creating snow and riding the East slopes of the northern mountains to create more snow too. So here's a look at how things shake out. We get the snow showers and rain showers. We could get a few of them here into the metro, but most of the action is going to be to the north, especially over the San Juans. And then as we get into tomorrow, notice the break during the afternoon hours and then early on Sunday morning, we start seeing the snow break out over the north and then just watch it all come down. That's why we think it's going to be a big deal across the east slopes because we're going to end up pushing that moisture up along the east slopes as the weather disturbance comes in, the cold front and cold air back in across the mountains. Just look at that bullseye area. If you're in the area covered in blue here, you've got a pretty good chance to get some snow going in. Yes, that does extend down into the east mountains. And yeah, the metro area could definitely see a mix out there with far colder temperatures and then things barrel down across the southeast later on in the day. So as far as snow amounts go at this point. Well, we're looking at this again as a two day total, but after the first round here, it's not all that impressive. Two to four, three to six inches, maybe a little more in some of the high peaks of the Sangres and really the San Juans get it worse here coming up with this first round. But then the second round comes in and watch what happens here. We start seeing a real expansion in the snow amounts. I think we could be looking at six to 12 inches broadly across the northern mountains and at the resorts. We could definitely get more than that. And if you go along places like Raton along the I-20 and I 40 corridors. We could be looking at a few inches of snow as well. So this is something to take seriously on Sunday and by Sunday afternoon and Sunday evening things will quiet down. We're quickly going to go region by region here. We are looking at snow and rain mixes and a lot of snow over the mountains of Colorado for tonight and same deal across the northwest. A couple of showers and that chance for showers goes away throughout the day tomorrow. Southwest you guys are a little too far south so an isolated shower is a possibility but that's about it. Over to the southeast partly cloudy and warmer but then temperatures fall off big time on Sunday with the chance of some showers. Northeast well, you could see a shower into tomorrow, but really the big story is Sunday. Sharply colder, snow developing. Northern mountains, snow overnight. Chance for snow showers tomorrow, and then more accumulating snow on Sunday. Out to the East Mountains, partly cloudy, a quick shower early tomorrow, and then watch Sunday in the East Mountains for a few inches of snow, maybe a little more. 50s and 60s in the metro area for tomorrow, and we could see an overnight shower, but our best chance here is on Sunday as well. All right, exciting stuff. Mark, thank you.